All right, uh, I'm about to show the inside of my van. Someone requested that. I got my camera holder thingy so I can actually do this. Hopefully, I don't disturb anybody. All right, so uh, it is for my current van setup. I am looking to get a second vehicle. Um, this is an entry level van. I, I would definitely uh, say it to the least. Um, running out of battery power, so I'm going to try to hurry this up. So basically, um, the back of my van right at the moment, um, I got uh, two hose reels, one electrical, one manual. Uh, this is, I don't believe it's direct feed hose. Yeah, it's, it's not a direct feed hose uh, reel. Um, basically my machine is way back there but what I have to do when I come to my jobs depending if I'm carpet cleaning or not most but not maybe every time I have to take off my tools I put my tools on my left I want to get like a hanger where I can just hang what I need but I have so many tools that might come into play um, that it'd be pointless to have a hanger I don't know if you guys can see back there but these are my buffing pads for my rotary machine got some red pads and white pads this is for uh, hardwood cleaning uh, the red pad is stiffer the white pad is for polishing let's see Let's that there uh, got too many brooms like three brooms that's when I, I, I just if I have people with me they can sweep but most of the time I don't even need to sweep because uh, this tool right here uh, which is a vacuum wand uh, you can actually attach this to any hose as long as it has uh, the right fitting uh, and that, that's basically why I like this design because let's say you have like an upright vacuum and it has like that detachable hose part on the back you can just take that off put it right here and now you have a wand that, that attaches to your stand upright or stand up vacuum cleaner alright so stair tool right there I have a ladder I guess I'll just take this out so you see how long it takes me stair tool and underneath the hose reel I have my works um, electric uh, what do they call this I don't want to call it a power washer but it I don't know the exact name because basically this is like a backup um, or um, like I say if I need to shoot Kim um, remotely I can put a uh, a bottle of Kim right here and basically it has a battery for the bottom you know and then I just pull the trigger well the safety's on now but uh, basically I just pull the trigger and then it shoots it's a pretty cool contraption um, but I haven't used that in a while mainly because my main equipment does everything for me corner guards uh, for when you're in the home um, br bristle att attachments for my rotary machine and uh, a stiff broom brush uh, just in case I have to, you know, brush the sidewalk off. But like I said, that's just in case. Most of the time, I don't even need this because my current equipment, I just, you know, just blow it off. But hey, you never know. You might have somebody, you know, with you that can help out. And then you're like, hey, can you just go ahead and blow that? So um, let me go ahead and put this stick tool over right there. So here is my extendable ladder or collapsible ladder. This is a must for any any work van. You want to have one of these because it extends really, really high. You will see me using those. I would say it's good for one-story homes. And then when you get on, if it's a two-story, you can walk on the roof or something. You can. Uh, it's aluminum. I see one hand. I can lift this up. I'm weighing that. I'll say about 50, no more than 60 pounds. You know, but. You know, it's not light, but it's not heavy. But you know, if I, if I can curl it, I would say it's, it's about 50 pounds, maybe no more than 60. You know, but uh, I gotta hit the gym, so uh, I got a four jet wand here. Purchased this for about $300, not bad. My next wand upgrade is gonna be uh, over a thousand dollars. It's gonna be a titanium swivel wand. Uh, that's my next wand, but this is my next, my, my, my second wand. Um, I do have a two jetter wand inside there somewhere, but I don't feel like taking all this stuff out. But uh, this is my second wand. Came with a glider and all that good stuff. Um, I 
about to wipe everything off and clean it off and everything like that, but basically that's it. Uh, put this back in there. I have my extended pole for when I'm cleaning gutters. Extension pole. Um, I don't know how far it goes. Uh, I think it's the biggest one. Hopefully the label's still on it. Let's see if the label. There it is. Give this at um, I think Lowe's. Yeah, but I like it because it's it's aluminum. You know, it's lightweight. Extends very very far. I wish the. Uh, okay, 23 feet. There it is, right there. So it extends uh 23 feet. But still, that's. That, that covers a lot of gutters, a lot of houses. Um, let's say if I'm cleaning windows, I can't reach that that upper window. I don't want to get the 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 ladder out. Or if I'm inside the home and you can't just put a ladder inside home without risking scratching the floors, uh, that that's that's when the extension pole comes in handy. Also, um, I don't clean houses anymore. But let's say if I was cleaning a house, uh, whether it's construction, post construction, or just a regular house clean, they have high ceilings. Um, I do charge for that, uh, but basically if they got high ceilings. I can use that pole again. All right, so uh, we got my service spinner, 15 inch, goes with my um, my four gallon a minute pressure washer so back here. I'll put this back where I got it from. Alright, so I just want to show that off. Uh, this right here is my uh, lint filter. I got to take this out, just extra pressure hose. Never know when you're going to need it, but that's actually the wrong gauge of hose. Uh, I think these are really, really skinny. Uh, I, I get the bigger, fatter ones because uh, my pressure washer outputs so much uh, water. Alright, so I have cleaning bucket. couple of uh, chemicals here see what I got some hardwood cleaner wood clean I got my injection sprayer which I'm about to go get looked at right now I need it troubleshoot shoot it uh, extra pump sprayers just in case you never know when you'll need that special batch injection sprayer uh, my chem shelf uh, on the bottom I have my all-purpose um, degreaser use it for mainly carpets but it can be used uh, to clean off um, equipment also and um, basically if I need some degreaser inside of my mix for concrete cleaning I use it also alright so I got uh, this right here lemonade uh, use that to, uh, with your, your hyper sodium chloride your SH, sodium hypersodium chloride, and basically, uh, yeah, it smells really good. It smells like candy when I'm cleaning a house, um, and also it's a surfactant at the same time. Uh, then to keep going down, there's more floor care stuff. Um, looks like I got some wet floor polish, um, and this goes to the next shelf. I got some oxygen uh, booster uh, for when I'm cleaning carpets and they're really nasty, or I just got some I don't want to oxi oxidize out. Um, out of Ajax, I need to get some Ajax comment. Uh, right here's my miscellaneous stuff, just in case I need some of them. Got a little window cleaning and uh, some, uh, some pump saver. Uh, put it on your pressure washer when you uh, don't don't need to use it for a while. But I, I use mine pretty pretty often. Um, what we got iron for when I'm taking off red stains. Uh, I got a little saw back there. Anyway, uh, keep my my hose uh, guns here uh, and this goes to my injection sprayer and here we got odor side for doing odor treatment so uh, this stuff is pretty expensive I um, highly suggest that uh, you go on Amazon and get this if you buy this in the store you're gonna be paying about twenty dollars more if you buy it in the store um, but yeah it's hard to find it, that stuff works and it's really good I got a couple of buckets here um, backpack uh, vacuum. I was cleaning off the top. I cleaned out the van. I cleaned off the top. And uh, right now I got to do laundry and uh, clean the filter that goes in there. I like the filter. Uh, it's about $30 for the filter if you get it off of Amazon, but if you order it from the manufacturer, it's like $80, $90 just for that one filter. Uh, like I said, pump spray, some buckets. Uh, 
get it out of the way. Another pump sprayer. Oh, there's my orbiter machine. Laid to the to the side down there. Um, Still use this thing to agitate carpets, um, VLM, um, tile and grout cleaning. Comes in handy. I haven't had a tile and grout cleaning in a while. That's amazing. All right, so um, there's my pressure washer right there in the middle. And if you look to the left, those red hoses are the hoses that go to my um, air duct cleaning uh, equipment. So basically, they have that spinner brush inside of the red hose. So they're hanging up there. I, I pull that out every season, once a season. I, I mark it for air duct cleaning, but I don't get as much. But I like that if someone says, hey, you clean air ducts, or if I see an air duct that needs, or I notice that the air ducts need cleaning, I can mention it and say, hey, listen, we do offer air duct cleaning. You know, And so far, I don't really get that much, but um, I want to upgrade that system to, uh, to the RAM air system. That's the rotor brush system. Um, it's just the RAM air system. I like that it encloses everything because anyway I'll make a whole video about the air duct cleaning side of things alright so yeah too many uh, services in one van alright uh, let me go around to the other side so, in case you guys want to see my um, machine that I have how many hours I've put on this bad boy here it is Pro Chem. GT. I think it's called a Legend, but it's called Pro Series GT. Um, I want to say it's the Legend GT, but might be wrong. All right. Um, I'm running a thousand or fifteen hundred hours. Five, one thousand five hundred and seven hours so far. Um, I do change the oil regularly. In fact, I do need to change the oil like now. Basically, it needed an oil change maybe a month ago. So um, I, I try to change the oil uh, three times a year on this machine. Um, the more the merrier, you know. But basically, I try to change it three times a year, at, at, at least twice a year, you know. Um, but I try to keep the oil changed in this thing because uh, I don't want the engine uh, going out. I mean, it's pretty old. Um, all right. So, yeah. Next, the next, I'm gonna get an electric start right for my next machine, and I want something that's a little bit hotter. You know, this thing does get hot, but it takes a while to get hot. I don't know, maybe because it's so old, but definitely it, it gets hot, but not as hot as most machines. All right. So uh, here I got my hose reels. I need. I mean, not hose reels. Excuse me. My um, garden hose. I need a hose reel, and um, they're they're just you know I think like 80 bucks on the on the low side. So. Um, I want to definitely get a reel that I can fit somewhere in here. I'm like, well, if I do get a hose reel, where am I going to put it? You know, um, I want to have it like over there somewhere, but you know, like I said, uh, I don't know yet. I got to figure it out. I probably can put it right there where where the vacuum cleaner is. You know, like as soon as I open it up, it's a hose reel right there. But anyway, um, I also have my fan buried underneath there. Um, oil change catcher thingy. Got some trash. Hate to say that, but you know, I think I was doing someone a favor and I got the trash for him or something like that. All right, so yeah, that's it. Then this is it. Uh, so when I get to a job, most of the time I pull this out first, that's why this is on top. I pull this out, connect to um, the, the main water line, and then the next thing I'll be getting out of the van will be these air movers while I'm vacuuming. I'm I put the air movers down and then I vacuum and everything like that and I plug them up and I set them up as I leave the room and then when I come back I get my injection sprayer set up the hoses right here turn on the machine and I go inside and then I uh, pre-spray come right back out um, grab my wand my metal wands whatever wands I need and uh, come back clean the carpets and then uh, turn the, uh, the air movers on and as the air movers are sitting inside the home I'm back here putting all this stuff back inside the van so it looks good on my part because they're like all oh, um, the technician comes and uh, he dries the carpets you know but at the same time I'm really just getting my van prepared for the next job um, if that makes sense you know so uh, basically you know the the time it takes me to come back to the van and place all this stuff back inside um, the, 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 the carpets are pretty much halfway dry because the air movers were sitting there for about 10 15 minutes I even come out here and I, I, I set my timer like once I get here I, I set my timer for 10 minutes because I know by the time it goes off 
10 minutes has passed, you know, um, and basically it's been 15 minutes and I can say, hey, I dried your carpet for 15, 20 minutes, you know, and that's, that's fair to say. I mean, when you put something inside the dryer at home, you set it for about, you know, 20 minutes, maybe uh, 30 minutes if, if it's a big, big load, you know, but uh, 15 minutes of, of, of air blowing and drying. It does a, a, a lot for a carpet once when, when you clean it because it basically, like I said, speeds up that drying process. Um, so by the time you leave, the carpets are are literally halfway dry. So instead of four to six hours drying time, you have um, a two to um, a two to uh, three hour dry time. You know, and uh, customers like hearing stuff like that, or at least some of them do, and we just try to deliver that type of service. Alright, well, I appreciate everybody watching these videos. I'm placing everything right back inside the van accordingly. And, uh, that's, I forgot that. Yeah, I do have a tool bag, you know, where all my tools are. So, basically, like I said, I'm placing everything back inside accordingly. Um, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Uh, this is actually a special request video. Um, I was reading my comments, and someone said, hey, can you show off uh, your van? And, you know, it's nothing much to me, but if someone asked for it, it probably asking for the, the public also so there's my van set up um, I'm actually like I said on the market for another vehicle I'm thinking about just getting a pickup truck for a pickup truck and then modifying that pickup truck because uh, I've been watching a lot of videos by people just making their own skids I know if I get it financed it's going to be about thirty thousand uh, dollars worth of equipment getting financed so I don't want to do that um, if I do do something like that if I do do something like that um, basically it's because I have a lot of business I, I should be like a million dollar business if I'm getting like a thirty thousand dollar skid you know but I'm not a million dollar business I'm trying to get to uh, two hundred thousand that's my next goal um, I think it can be done and once I get to two hundred thousand uh, that will be like the changing point because I'll be able to hire people it'll be something um, that basically be auto automated Okay, all right, well, I got to get, yeah, look at this. I got to get this repaired, and it's hard because you would think that these kind of vans would be common, um, and I can get the part easily. No, I called around, and no one has this style in the junkyard, so I have to buy it new, and I, um, I don't know where to get it new. So, probably just going to have to see, look, there's another style like that, another style like that. Probably going to have to get a, go to the, a, a dealership or something like that and just have them. Uh, order it for me if I can't find it very soon because I can't keep riding around like this. I only can drive in the daytime without really getting in trouble. You know? Alright then, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, I'll see you on the next one. In fact, uh, I'll do some more videos about this because really I'm um, making plans uh, this year. I'm going to get this whole thing wrapped because uh, it looks ugly. I mean, it's been like this for a while, for a year, and I just paid it off and um, it, having this vehicle paid off has has done wonders for my finances so um, I have I've been able to put that money toward um, digital marketing and I, and I already see returns like you know I've been um, doing little things here and there and I'm happy to say that okay at least I make my money back but that's that's really where you want to be at when you're doing any kind of marketing bare minimum you want to make the amount that you put into uh, the pot so so far so good um, I'll see you guys in the next video